Nah, man, you do not want to be trapped down here. Like, why would you find these down here? These are like straight 1800s bullcrap. We need answers, man. Hey guys, can you hear this? From nowhere? Hey. That's so much to <laughs> So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and I already know that I need to say very little because most of you guys already know exactly what we're about to get into. Now, around about one month ago, there popped up a video called The Backrooms Found Footage, created by a specific person known as Kane Pixels. We soon learned that this guy had an extremely fascinating take on the Backrooms lore, and the world he has began crafting as a result of this is something so substantial and insane that it's legit taking the internet by storm. I said to you guys that rather than reacting to every Every single video he does because some of these things are two to three minutes I would wait and let a couple build up and I've done just that and now we have two different videos to react to We got this one here backrooms missing person and backrooms informational video now What's the information that that thing's about to tell us huh before we go ahead and find out? I will say if you guys have not seen the original and you're not up to scratch with the story of this thing You should definitely check back on Kane pictures videos or my reaction whichever one you want to do The initial backroom video came from some dude trying to do some kind of short film He was recording with his friends when he seemed to clip through the floor. He ended up in this extreme extremely bizarre and eerie place with no real sense of where he was and what was going on, but he knew he was being watched. We've since had lots of lore scattered in between, talking about how the back rooms even came to be and what was going on. If you do want to find out, I really would recommend watching those. With that said though, let's get started with this thing. We're starting out with the missing persons and then the informational. And if you guys want to see even more reactions to stuff like this, I think you know exactly what to do. This first video has a very simple description. It's simply titled the 2nd of the 3rd, 1990. Wait, whoa, the original video was titled uh, September 23rd, 96. So, wait, is this something that happened even prior to the guy that we saw in the original video? Let's find out, guys. I am so excited. I've been saving this missing Nicholas Bolton. That's on the outside world. Does anyone know where he went? Oh, multiple. Margaret Watson, last seen Saturday, December 7th. Are these people that cut through the world? Reward. Who the frick? I don't know who you are. We have no, we have no, no name, no date of birth. John Doe, Ellis White, two years old? Oh man, no one was saved then. Janice Scott too, it's just the same thing over and over. People were clipping through anywhere in the world? Oh, look at this. Reported missing people cases. Oh, it's going up and down and up. Oh, could they not control this thing? It was like, Spreading like a virus through the world. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's a creation. People clipping in that thing. This is insane. Like, yo, I can legit, I can see the carpet fibers. I can feel the material as they're walking. It's so weird how good this looks. Look at this in the shadows. You yes. see each and every carpet fiber. Okay, let's see what they're doing though. They got a case. That's like some kind of red rope so they know where they're coming through. Looking back at your men as they come through with a briefcase. What the freak is all that about? Oh, this is weird. It's like, maybe even they don't truly know what to expect in this thing. They may have crafted it. They might be servicemen though, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the upper level. What level are they on? Are they on the safe level or nah? Why are they coming in in hazmat suits though? Is the area itself toxic or something? Go. Hold it. You say hold it? What the? What is that? I don't know. So I this thing right there. About checking it out? It may just be part of the environment. Something about the environment? That's some dude! He's been turned into charcoal! Who this was he? Sense. What are they missing? This wasn't in the last report. It wasn't in the last no, report. Definitely no. No, he's gone. What do they do to them once they're in here? You see the little mark in the head? It's, it's organic. Blood up the walls. Yo, they reside in those things. It's those organic. crevices. Fungus. Fungus. Yo, what the freak was that? That's all we get? You can't tease me and take it away like that. Hold on, I'm seeing this reverse. Give me a second. If anybody blame him, as in the person who was featured in that video, the one who was completely taken care of, blame him. Is it talking about a higher up force? This whole A-team thing, that's what we saw, right? Async. That must be the company obviously doing all the experimentations. By blame him, is it talking about the guy like when we heard when they initially created the bathrooms, he 
the bathrooms. But when the back rooms was first made and they wanted to shut the machine off because they were scared about what they were creating, he ushered them not to turn it off to keep the machine running no matter what. As a result, copious people have now gone missing and this has turned into a worldwide phenomenon where people are just disappearing from society, likely ending up in the back rooms. That guy we saw with the fungal growths and whatnot, I'm sure he's not the only one in these corridors if you look long and hard enough. So that was a very interesting take showing that past the found footage that we've seen, the world and the people also getting zipped up into this backrooms area is definitely happening. It was also kind of increasing substantially the more time went on. So I do wonder, did they start doing more and more crazy experiments within the backrooms to make that happen, make the rooms expand even more? I have no idea, guys. Maybe this informational video right here is going to have our back, so we are going to check this one out and see exactly what it has to show for us. This one came at 02291990, so this is a couple of days after the instant thing that we saw. Let's do it. Let's do it. For internal use only, yeah, someone already leaked the tape, fella. Welcome, Welcome to, the to the Project KV31 Research and Development Team. I get to rest my voice. In this short, informative video, you will be briefed on the required protocol in regard to Project KV31, KV as well as receive an overview of future development plans. All right, thanks, Mr. Robot what is Voice. Project KV31? You tell us! Let's hear it! What's that abbreviation? What's Project the KV? KV31 pertains to the study and development of the Async Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System. I'm just gonna nod my head and pretend I know exactly what they're talking about. Okay, and how's that help? KV31 threshold. Lots For the of sake videos of convenience, have been on this. you may hear your peers refer to the project under any of the following the titles. The back rooms the is machine, there. The door. Okay. The back rooms. The complex. The complex? Hallways. Uh, nah, I like that middle one, sir. Unauthorized the usage rooms. of these terms Whoa. outside of the async research facility is what are you strictly prohibited. The threshold Ew. without guided supervision. Wait, never approach the threshold. What? The threshold? Yeah, how are you about to go down? Never enter the complex alone. Always with people. All expeditions are to be comprised of no fewer than three individuals. Three people? Is that even enough? How are you going to stop a monster like that? We got a time, 11.36. This is so cool, man. This is so cool. Look at this! In the, how? Man, it looks real though! This is real, I don't care. I don't care what any of you say, this is real. And this is a factual documentation that has been unearthed in the governmental archive. Come on, man, this is so cool. So this is what they first saw when they entered the backrooms after it was created. Imagine just seeing that, dude. Just seeing this, like, what the heck, dude? There they are. Like, there's the real world. You're out of the real world. They're like looking down like, how is this real, man, you know? They can't believe this place got materialized from yeah, nothing. Two weeks ago. Yeah, doing anything about it now. Two weeks? It's so hot. I mean, like, you can do really things that don't actually in this situation. Wait, it's... There's too many variables. There's too many variables. Guys, it is so hard to hear the conversation. They're talking about too many variables. What I will say is I think that these captions are being auto-generated, so do not believe everything you read. Yeah, there's the briefcase. What's the significance of that? We saw it before. What are they trying to do? Well, so that guy walking with the red thing, like, he's dragging it with him. It is so hard to hear them. You could not hear a single thing, though. What do you say? I'm, try I'm trying so hard to listen, guys. You hear them? Um. Yo, what? Guys, do you hear this? It's a, there's a whole, yo, they got a crowded like Coliseum in there. What the heck? The back room's playing into your mind. He's separated from the pack. You are, you are done. He's done. Hey guys, do you hear this? From nowhere? Hey. That's so messed up, oh, man. <laughs> yo, he's gone. Guys. Yeah. Good. He's gone, he's panicking. Open. Yeah, here we go. This is how you get lost when you start to panic. <laughs> go back. The way you go. Hey. He's gone. They must have found his tape though. Oh, skip that. You never go down that way. Look at him like on the low. That's it. Move, move, move. Guys, I'm legit tense. 
Skip this. This is messing up with my head, man. This is messing up with phobias in my head. Like, imagine being lost in a place like this. No windows. There is no outside. You don't know how far in you are going. Like, all of those things just make me feel so uncomfortable. It's like when you hear about people that go spelunking and things like that. Have you guys heard of that? They, like, dive into these really narrow cave spaces. They pretty much go in the dark. They can't see anything. And they see that as a hobby. Are you crazy? Let's see. This is a professional on the job. Look at the panic and just everything he's seeing as a result. Whoa, what's that? Go see it. You hear voices? Is that glitching? That's, wait, that's like a Coliseum room. Look at that, like a lecture hall. Someone dropped their bowels on the floor too. But why? What's that back area? Like, what the freak, what is it? Applause. I can hear talking. Like mumbling or something. Someone was talking right there though. Alright. Oh. Gentia, <coughs> huh? Does this place have some kind of fungal thing? Is that what's happening? Like, there's so much that needs answering. I love how, instead though of direct answers, we get this like confused person in the state. It kind of, it lets you be just as confused as they are without having direct answers. And I, I actually prefer that, you know. Yo, it's like slanting. So weird. Perspective's making no sense. Everything just completely broken up. Nothing how it seems or how it should be. You gotta go through. I would not recommend it. If you look, is this like the end of the world? You know what I'm trying to say? I would not stare into the dark. New zone? That's a different level! What the freak? They brought the, de <laughs> the decorations down here. Nah, man. You do not want to be trapped down here. This is a Resident Evil stuff. A weapon? Wait. What? There's like old tools and stuff back here. Take it, maybe? Yo. This is illogical. What are these? Like, why would you find these down here? These are like straight 1800s bullcrap. We need answers, man. Is there something inside there? Are you going to explore or not? I'm on your like. Do you explore? Did something explore as well? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Oh, he backed out. He was like, nah, you know what? Victorian times now, I'll stick with the modern, like, 1990s horrible office color, you know? He prefers this color scheme. Look at all those dark crevices, though, man. Oh, my goodness me. You ha we haven't seen the monster, though. Well, maybe we have. Lurking somewhere. Like, I'm dying. My eyes are dying everywhere. I'm trying to process this, you know? Oh. Yo, what the freak? That's like a test room. You see, we've got the tinted glass and everything. Dude, just seeing what the back rooms wants you to see. I don't believe this for a moment. Yo, was that something? Hold up. What's this down there? I don't know if that was something, man. I'm, I'm like trying to see everything. And is he being tested on? Imagine if he was set up to be a test subject. We've seen the exit thing before. If it leads upstairs and you go through, you're out. You can hear talking. You gonna go through? Try, try. He's like... The stuttering in his breath. What on earth is this? Oh my gosh. It's a close that door behind you. Are you safe in here? Hello? Whoa! Run room? Talk about back rooms? Um, probably close that door, man. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. What are we seeing? They shut us out there? Wait, with the music. What's that signifying? What's the zone? Are we seeing it on here somewhere? This is telling us a lot right here, guys. Standard threshold. All of this information here. This means something, but what do we make of it? We see this writing that's been like rubbed out on the board. Complex. All the way down there. 
Oh my goodness, this just made everything so much more deeper than what we thirst for. What is all of the different things we were seeing? So, first of all, now we know that the backrooms gives you this kind of hallucination thing. Like, you hear how he was hearing the voices? It brought him to the corner, and the backrooms has the power to completely glitch and warp you anywhere you want. Hey, can you feel this? Like, the sound brought that is there's hey. no sound, and then... Look at how it, it could just straight up change your position at any given time time guys oh. that alone makes the back rooms even more guys. terrifying for me we're seeing elements of this charcoal like crystallized mass on the floor in areas that seem to relate or be something like it's so hard to make sense this is where it starts to get very confusing and the perspective here like that's trippy you think that it's just distant nah fella that thing is squashing you down and then when he goes through like evidence of this different era down here especially this but there's a very unique Strange sound. That ain't him breathing, guys. That ain't him breathing. So what is this area here? What's the purpose and the creation of this part? And like, when we get to the server room here, why do the alarms begin to sound with that music? There are so many weird questions from this one. Why does it do this? Why is it set up this way? Like, it was, it was designed to be this weird room that can trigger this sort of, like, alert alarm system. Who's it bringing to you? And as for all of this that we see at the end, we need so much more answering, guys. All of this, like, network of creation, all planned and, like, processed, done with intent. But why? Past just creating rooms. It feels like there's more going on here, and they knew they were doing that. Oksu says, I'm assuming he was lured by something into one of those null zones that was mentioned in a previous video, which is some sort of unstable zone in the back rooms between dimensions. I wonder if the alarms went off because his suit had the fungus on it, so the room was contaminated and was alerting any workers inside. Oh, now that could be kind of interesting, right? There was a lot of talk about fungus, and you, we heard him coughing in this video, saying so maybe he was already too far gone. The contamination had got to this worker. Let me just brush up on those null zones. I know it's going to make no more sense, but give me a second, okay? Let me feel smart. Now, this could have some weight. We see the date here on the informational is 229-1990. The archive is March 90. So this came just a month after we saw that. So that video might have been this guy discovering the, I guess, null zones within this place. Like, there's all of this different stuff here as well, where they were setting up the computers. This looks a lot like the room where that guy went into. Whether it is the exact same one is, like, something I'm not too sure of. It is. It is the same room. We've got the same floor tiles and everything and we have like the small window where there'll be people viewing they would be working in these rooms though look man there's our guy working from this perspective out the window we see this does the environment match up is it the same can we confirm that too I, it's hard to tell like we don't get to see much from this perspective but look it's now talking about these null zones and the discovery of them so the null zones are real dangerous within this place and they can corrupt your mind they transport you anywhere within this place that they want want. So I'm really interested now. What are they leading this sort of red wire or pole pipe to? It seems like they're gonna bring it somewhere and they're carrying these briefcases. What do they look the fixation? What do they have inside of those that's so important? They know where they're going within this place. They must have some kind of map. They must know the lay of the land so it's not ultimately that random. I am like overly curious though with this part here. Why does any of this like the whole axe thing? People won't be working in here. Like, they just, you can't see a civilization working in here. There's just so many weird questions I have. So, so many. I would love to know more. You know, I'm so glad, though, that we have almost no information directly, because this means that we start theorizing, man. This sequence here is arguably the most fascinating yeah, thing even more than the monsters, okay? Because this goes to show those entities are not the true danger within this place. There are voices being generated to appeal to this guy specifically. Look at this. They are originating from nothing. Guys, the backrooms are creating. It's like hey. the backrooms themselves are a sentient being luring people around. There is no other reason why that would happen. There is absolutely no other reason, right? This is going to be a series that three, six, nine months down the line, everyone is going to look back on and be like, wow, we had the chance to experience this in 2022. Like for real, the quality and just craftsmanship that's going into each and every single one of these is extremely admirable. It takes a lot of courage to spend your time, hours, days, weeks, doing something like this for the potential of it to just 
just completely go unreceived. Kane Pixels, he's already like a super recognizable name now in the entire YouTube space. So congrats, man, you've done it. And I can't wait to see what more you do as a result. The last piece of information I just wanted to piece together here. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but the informational video comes out on 0229. Now the missing person comes out 0203. Four days later, look what they discover, guys. It might be a different person. I don't know though. I have absolutely no idea. This could be the person who we saw in the other video. Maybe he's wearing, nah, he's not wearing a suit. He looks like a normal person. So it's it's really hard to know. One thing that is for certain is the Backrooms playlist by Kane Pixels is now being created. And the videos as they release are not the chronological order. He is now mapping these in the Backrooms playlist so we know the order in which to watch these. With that in mind, the found footage comes at the very last moment. All of this comes up to this moment here. Bro, I'm leaving this with my brain completely zapped. There is so much like visual information to unpack in this one. We see more stuff that goes down in the back rooms. This place just gets weirder and weirder. Like I, I am eagerly awaiting Kane Pixels to make the next one. Bro, establish a team, make a Patreon where we can donate seven figures to you. We want daily episodes on this thing now. As usual, Kane Pixels channel will be linked down below, but this is gonna be it for this one, guys. This was reacting to two of the new back rooms videos he's created, and I really hope you did enjoy. This was incredible. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.